Get moving, let's get going. What's going on everyone? Hope you are doing so good. We are back and ready for this workout, so let's get started. We're gonna start with our legs spread nice and far apart, and we're gonna do our forward reaches down all the way, trying to get as much reach as possible, trying to touch. Beautiful, and then what we're gonna do is reach our hands all the way up to the sky as high as we can, stretching our arms to the top, and then we're going all the way down once again. Big reach to the ground, good and then all the way up to the top. We're really trying to stretch that arm as high as we can. Remember, we don't wanna go through any pain here. So if this is causing pain in your back or shoulders, try to shorten the movement a little bit. You can go down, um, not quite as far to the ground, and you can also reach not quite as high, okay? So reaching down, touching, all the way up, perfect. Let's go ahead and move into some leg extensions here. So we're gonna just alternate our kicks back and forth here. This is a really good exercise workout to um, kind of warm up the muscles around your legs and knees. Uh, they often get really stiff throughout the day and um, just doing this will get some blood flow to that area. It'll help everything feel super good um, for the rest of the workout that we're doing. So just get some nice kicks back and forth here. Again, nothing too crazy on this workout, um, at least this specific exercise. Perfect, all right. Next exercise we're gonna do is our shoulder tap. So we're gonna start with our arms out to the side and then we're gonna come all the way back in, make a big sweeping circle, touching those shoulders all the way out stretch those hands and fingers good all the way back in touch all the way out stretch and reach so you're really trying to um, curl your arms and your elbows as much as possible and then you're straightening your elbows straightening those hands trying to even get them kind of turning outside the other way good this is a really good warm-up for your shoulders and um, some of your back upper back muscles as well and this gets your fingers a little bit too. Good, so big reach, touch, all the way back, perfect. All right, last warm up we are going to do today is our forward reach. So you're gonna be sitting up nice and tall and then all together reaching towards the camera or towards me. You're gonna be reaching as far forward as you can and then coming all the way back and trying to pinch your shoulder blades, good. So for this one, we're trying to actively reach forward as far as possible, trying to get that big stretch, reaching towards the screen. Good, you guys are doing great. Big pinch in those shoulder blades as we sit up nice and tall. All the way, big reach, good. Pinch those shoulder blades. One more time, big reach forward. All the way back and pinch, perfect, excellent job. We're gonna move into a little bit of strength now. So we're gonna start with our arms to the side of our chair. And what we're gonna do for this one, this is actually gonna work our core, um, is our side bend. So we're gonna actively reach our hand up and over to the side as far as we can. You'll probably feel this in the side of your core. And you're just gonna hang on tight here. We're gonna breathe and hold, breathe and relax. Try to hold that position as much as possible. Good, taking that big breath. Go ahead and reach all the way over to the other side. Big, big reach, reach, reach. Good, and we're holding nice and tight, breathing and relaxing, trying to hold that position. Beautiful, all the way up and over. One more time, trying to get some good work here. Be strong, you got this, you're doing great. Big reach all the way over once again. We're breathing and holding one more count beautiful let's go ahead and we'll move into our standing position as mentioned earlier you are going to need this exercise band so for our first uh, starting balance we're just going to get our uh, feet nice and steady we're going to feel how we are on our feet today um, so for this go ahead and start with your feet nice in our hip width position if this is easy for you you can bring both those feet together bring them all the way touching Kind of uh, take a couple bends to the left and right, feel how you're feeling. If this is easy for you, you can start to slowly stagger your feet, one foot in front of the other, into that semi-staggered position. Again, check your balance, feel how you are today, and then we can move to our hardest position, just again, feeling uh, for ourselves, how that feels, going left, right, side to side. Uh, if you can, just try to hold this position nice and steady. We'll warm up our balance a little bit before we use that exercise band. 
Perfect, let's go ahead and we'll switch to the other side if you did have your feet staggered. So again, start with those feet uh, about hip width apart. Then we can slowly bring them together. Again, holding this position for just a little bit, leaning left, leaning right, seeing how we feel, checking that feeling for our body. And then we're gonna slowly move towards that staggered position once again, okay? So moving towards that staggered position. And then of course, the hardest position, if you can get to this, is gonna be this. Remember, work at your own level. There's no need to go um, harder than you can handle. We don't want you fumbling and tumbling all over the place. We wanna just find a position where you feel a little wobbly, but not too much where you're moving all over the place. So good, let's go ahead and we'll stop there. Um, for this next one, we're gonna get our ankle band on. You can pause the video, sit down and do it uh, seated. If you can do it standing, that's great though. That'll be a little bit quicker. But uh, feel free to do that seated as well if you don't feel comfortable putting that on standing. So for our ankle band, what we are going to do is, um, our first thing is a side shuffle, okay? So um, what we're gonna do is a big reach to the left, big reach to the right. And when we're doing this exercise, we really want to keep some good distance on that band, okay? Keeping some distance on the band allows you to work your muscles a little bit further versus if you bring your feet all the way in. So keeping that band nice and spread far apart is gonna keep some really good muscle activation for yourself and make you feel uh, so much better. So keep that muscle um, working, keep those bands spread nice and far apart. And we're just gonna move through these side shuffles. We got about 10 more seconds here. You are doing great. Hang on nice and tight. I know you're feeling that burn now. Uh, maybe uh, starting to get some good work through there. Perfect. And rest. Excellent job, everyone. Okay, for our next movement, we're gonna do a forward step. So I'm gonna be stepping forward with my right foot, big reach, and then stepping backwards with that right foot. So this is gonna encompass a little bit of balance but also a little bit of strength too, because you're gonna need uh, to use your hip flexor or the front of your leg muscle here to kind of uh, move you forward in that position. But then it is kind of difficult on your balance as well. So give it your best shot, try to get a big step forward, big step backwards, good. One more and rest, perfect. Move into that left foot, big step forward, big step backward again the further you can reach the better on this one it's going to be uh, working those exercises working those muscles for you uh, the better also too the further you can step forward the harder this is going to be for your balance okay what we're going to do next is kind of the exact opposite movement so for that last one we were stepping forward this one we're going to step backwards so again starting with that right foot big step backwards for me Big step forward. Uh, when we're doing this one, you're trying to keep one of your feet nice and planted and trying to keep a good amount of weight in that planted foot. I also forgot to mention too, again, if you do need to hold on to something or have it near you to give you a little bit of comfort, feel free to hold on to a chair or have something like a wall or even a cane near you. Um, you could have your walker in front too, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Perfect, let's go ahead and switch to that back side. So big reach left, um, with that left foot, I should say, all the way back, all the way forward. Remember, the bigger the reach, the harder it's gonna be on your balance and also the more work on your muscles. So uh, really try to challenge yourself in this position. Big reach backwards, big reach forward. Perfect, all right, the last drill um, we are going to do with our um, uh, bands here is going to be a banded march. So you're actually going to move uh, the band so it's on the arches of your feet and it's going around versus around your ankles. So uh, move them around that. Again, you can sit down to do that one. It's going to uh, make it a little easier, a little less balance focused. So sit down if you need to switch your uh, feet and feel more comfortable that way. What we are going to do is a high march, but with that band. So this is going to give a little bit of resistance on that band and it's gonna pull it down in position. So this is really gonna work that balance, but also some of your hip flexor muscles that get really neglected uh, when we don't walk properly and move throughout the day. So try to go as slow as you can going up and going down. It's gonna be a two for one. So you're gonna work your strength and you're gonna work your 
balance pretty well in this position. So back and forth and good. Perfect. All right. So we're going to take that band off. We're going to put it right in front of us. And what we are going to do is an agility foot tap. So that band is going to be right in front of us and we're going to alternate back and forth, tapping the band and then with the other foot. So we're going to go nice and slow first here, uh, nice and conservative, just kind of getting the feel of that motion going back and forth. Now let's go a little bit quicker. So we're tapping that foot, tap, 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 tap. Good. Now as fast as you can, tap those feet. Again, you're trying to be precise in this. Be precise. Tap that band. Try not to send it flying, but you're still moving as quick as possible. And rest. Excellent job, everyone. We are going to do a little cool down stretch just to uh, feel better about our workout and um, just help us round it all out in a good fashion. So we're going to do our double hamstring stretch so our legs are going to be hip width apart and then what you're going to do is keep your knees nice and straight slowly reaching down trying to touch your toes if you're able to again don't so focus so much on um, actually getting all the way down to your toes focus on getting a nice stretch through the back of your thigh muscles or your hamstrings right here while just keeping your knees nice and straight okay so this is a side profile view I'm able to get down to my toes, but maybe you're only able to get down to here before you start needing to bend your knees. That's okay. Go down as far as you comfortably can. Make sure you take a couple deep breaths. Uh, make sure you get that blood uh, going through your head still. And then we're going to slowly come back up. Take a couple more deep breaths. Make sure you're feeling okay. I feel so much better. Hopefully you feel a little better too with that balance and strength workout. We will see you right in that fitness tip right now. We are all finished with that exercise workout today. Hopefully you feel a little stronger. Maybe you're a little steadier on your feet after that. We'll keep being consistent and keep going on with these workouts. For your fitness tip today, we're gonna give a little bit of a nutrition and grocery shopping tip. Next time you go to the grocery store, when you're shopping for groceries, a tip that I use a lot is to stay on the outside of the perimeter of the store. On the outside of the store is where you're gonna find a lot of your whole foods, fruits, vegetables, milk, dairy, and some lean cuts of meat. These are the things that are gonna give you the most nutrients, gonna keep you the full, uh, the longest throughout the day, and are just gonna make you feel the best. Everything in the middle of the store is often packaged, processed, and doesn't have a lot of overall nutrients. So staying away from that middle and sticking towards most of your purchases towards the outside are going to be the best for you. So hopefully you got something out of that tip. You are ready for the rest of this day. The workout is in the books. Go tackle the rest of the day and we'll see you in that next video.